Welcome to your market update and charts of the day from Mike Smith, seen at Anderson Gold Markets. It is the 26th of February. We hope you had a great weekend. And let's take a look around what's happening on this Monday afternoon as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Quick look across the news. Of course, US markets closed the week near neutral on Friday after another positive and record breaking week. We saw record highs on the down the SP 500. It may be tested this week with a big week of data with US jobs and inflation numbers due. US futures are slightly lower in early Asian trading today. Asian markets are mixed with the Nikkei continuing to breach new highs. ASX is struggling a little bit to hold above neutral. And European equity futures are pointing to a fairly cautious open this afternoon. Fairly typical Monday. US dollar index is holding support of a short term range. It's been trading in the last two weeks. Gold did edge higher. It's around that 2030 level, which is really important technically. And we saw copper have a really strong week last week, but a little pullback on Friday. And likewise in Asia today, some profit taking occurs. The next key level for copper is at 392, and that's probably worth a look at to keep an eye on. Oil moved back down through the 200 EMA to stay within, again, a range it's been trading in for some time. And likewise with Bitcoin still in a tight trading range between 50 and 52. It's like the market is waiting for the next significant bit of information to process. It is the end of earnings season in the US, so just a few stragglers left to report. So data is likely to take center stage and dominate sentiment throughout the week with that inflation number, the PCE data that the Fed likes so much due on Thursday. It is a quiet day today today. We've not got much that is going to move markets apart from some technical repositioning. Couple of charts of core RI. Zipco Limited, ticket code ZIP, are worth a look on the ASX. You can see uh, that they are attempting to breach this key level at 92. We've traded underneath it for the last two weeks after this sharp move higher. Uh, we've had a little poke above that level only to see it retrace back beneath. So this will be highest close test this swing high here. And if we go back even further, uh, you can see the significance of this level. A move up to a dollar in the first instance in the short term is very much on the cards. Could it even move as high as 120 in the medium term? In the in the FX market, some interesting action in the Kiwi pairs. We're looking at the Euro Kiwi on the hourly chart at this stage. You can see sharp move upwards in the Euro general Kiwi weakness with the RBNZ given its great decision this week. So after that sharp move up, we're seeing a little bit of a retracement back to this R2 level at 75. 175.29. Be interesting to see if we bounce off this, retest this R3 level at 175.53. If we breach that, then there could be a move up to 176. Worthwhile being patient for this until we did get a breach of that level, but that looks like a chart which has a reasonable probability trade in the making, should it do so. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.